If you want to become a Montgomery County police officer, you have to be pot free for three years before applying, even though recreational use of cannabis is legal in the state. County police and officials say the state rule is hurting efforts to recruit new officers. Having a legal drug become a barrier to increasing law enforcement seems like a, um, you know, it's a bad policy. The Maryland Police Training and Standards Commission adopted the three-year rule. In this letter sent last April, the county police chief, the head of the FOP, and a county council member asked the commission to modify its regulations. The commission agreed to conduct a study. I think in today's environment, um, where we are with uh, the legalization of cannabis, um, that has now restricted law enforcement agencies, particularly the larger agencies across the state. Officials say they want to have more local flexibility on marijuana use in the hiring process. Once you're on the force, you're barred from any kind of cannabis use. By comparison, D.C. police require you to be marijuana free for three months before you apply. It's a big issue now, but it's going to become an increasingly large issue as more people who have consumed with legalization consider policing, they realize they're ineligible. That's when we expect to see bigger drop off in applications. If the commission doesn't make a change, the county will work with lawmakers in Annapolis on possible legislation that could give them the flexibility they're looking for. Montgomery County Police are down 175 officers. The department already offers $20,000 in signing bonuses for new officers, and they plan to hire an outside firm to help with recruitment. In Rockville, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Now, there is no specific ban on past marijuana use for new applicants in Fairfax County. That department handles everything on a case-by-case -case basis.